hello welcome back to my channel y'all <clears throat> first let me apologize i know that it has been forever i know that i was supposed to been upload a video for my three week mark uh, um i ain't even got no excuse y'all having i needed um, a break from um work and so yeah i took a uh, extended break so with all that being said, I am back. And y'all, y'all ain't been missing nothing. I'm telling y'all, you ain't been missing nothing, all right? Because really nothing has changed that much. Yeah. So let's hop into this update. This is going to be my three to five week tummy tuck update. Um, my surgery was November 22nd. I had my surgery with Dr. Wise in Orange Park, Florida um, at Northeast Plastic Surgery Center. Um, my starting weight of surgery was 186. Currently, I am 181. So, and I still need to fix my diet, y'all. It's been trash. I ain't really been working out how I should. I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. Actually, I'm actually gonna start back taking my um, fentramine. I did that like for a few months. That's what helped me lose the initial 35 pounds. So I'm gonna do that until I hit my goal. Any hoots? <laughs> so you may come here for all that, y'all. You came here for the video. Now, I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet because we are actually in a market for a new home. Um, we're going to meet with a realtor in like... 10 minutes so i gotta hurry up and do this judge. so updates um everything is healing nicely i have been using my um tape my the tape that my doctor gave me for scar treatment i do have a keloid for me and not on my belly button on my incision that i figured that was going to happen so we're going to try the silicone strips for until my next appointment and if that doesn't work he will do like um, steroid injections for that. Now the keloid is very, very, very thin. So that's like a good part about it. I knew that that was going to happen. I keloid. Um, also I have like two, like very little tiny dog ears that I'm going to discuss at my next appointment with him in February to see if maybe we can do like a little, uh, <clears throat> in office procedure to get rid of those. Um, I am getting confident as the day goes by I have to get out of my head because I know that this is just was just to get rid of the overhang that I had, my little fupa. Um, but I am very, very hard on myself. So anytime I see like a little imperfection, I'm just like, oh, maybe we should have did this or maybe we should have did that. But y'all, you know what? As long as it's good, this tummy is flat, flat. I'm okay. Okay. I got to learn to accept this. Okay. Um, my belly button is looking nice and good. Um, I am very still much swollen in the top portion of my abs. When I do like a body shot, I will point out the area where I experience the most swelling at. Um, I've kind of took a nap on my sides, not really sleeping on my sides yet. I want to y'all, okay? I'm tired of sleeping straight up and with a darn neck pillow that's there right right there okay i'm sick of that net pillow and the net pillow is sick of me just like my ass is sick of the couch and the couch was sick of my ass okay so i've been trying to get used to sleeping on my sides the issue is when i wake up when i said my like my abs feel like and my skin feels like closer it hurts horribly okay so i'm just ready for that sensation to go away um, I did do the baby baby boogity. It was nice, y'all. It was nice. One thing that I did notice is, and I even mentioned this to my boo. Um, I am so used to covering my self up. Subconsciously, I'm still covering myself up. All right. So all of this newfound confidence that women say they have, yeah, I feel confident in my clothes and I feel confident just busting out. But when it comes to that, y'all, I ain't, I ain't no, I ain't figured it out yet. Like I still, I still have like previously, previous me in my mind as current, currently what I look like. And that's not the case. Even when it comes to trying on clothes, I'm like, ah, uh, but y'all ain't nothing there. 
um, when I fall asleep sometimes, I'm just like, where is the rest of me at? Okay. Where you at, girl? I know I want to get rid of you, but where you at? So I'm working through that um, body dysmorphia. I am trying to work through that. Um, I don't necessarily know currently if I'm going to need like <clears throat> therapy to get through it. I probably will. Um, but right now I'm still working, working through that, working on that. Um, what else? Oh, y'all do not be surprised if your cycle is late after surgery. All right. Um, I was a week late and you know, I've been pregnant three times. Okay. I have three kiddos. Hence why I need to get the good thrown in the trash can. But in each time, like I've known, like, girl, you pregnant. With my last son, y'all, I missed my cycle one day and I was just like, oh, girl. Uh oh. <laughs> so this time when I missed my cycle, I was just like, um, boo boo, where you at? Because I ain't been doing that. And I've been tracking. So where you at, sir? Now, I don't even like to see you like that, but where you at? Where are you at? Okay. I took like three pregnancy tests. I ain't even gonna lie. Piss on the stick. Because I was just like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. And I'm very in tune with her, with it. Okay. Very in tune. Now I was lost. So my cycle did come on a week late. It was normal. A little bit shorter, like three days. I want to say total of four days. And typically, I'm a five-day type of girl. Um, So, it was shorter. It was somewhat lighter. Um, But it was a week late. late. And um, after doing some research and even after reaching out to my surgeon, that is, and the girls that are in the surgery group that I'm in, that is very normal. Your body goes through so much trauma and your hormones are all thrown off with the healing process and the trauma that has been caused to your body. It, it, if your cycle is late and you know that she ain't been doing like the naughty naughty, don't be, don't be nervous, y'all. Take a few piss on the stick like I did and just wait for it. Like I, it's some girls in a group that cycle came on like 20 days late, a month late. Most women were like me a week or two weeks late. So don't be, I ain't really heard most people mention that that could happen. So just so you're aware, sis, you might be late. All right, time stamp says seven minutes, 40 seconds. I've been doing a chitty chatty. So let's get into this body, yada, yada. Um, y'all, I'm looking for a belt because I'm trying to be comfortable for when we go look at these places today, but I wanted to put on a little something. My button is off, okay? So when I stand up, don't even judge me. Don't even judge. Oh, compression. <laughs> I got to get better with that. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. It hurt. It don't. Okay, let me not say that it hurts. My spanks are too small. No, right, sir. So they're too big. I've gotten too small for my spanks. So they're constantly rolling, rolling, rolling down. I gotta like pull it all the way up here, y'all. I need to get me some new spanks. So I ain't been wearing compression. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The faha that my masseuse gave me, y'all. I can't breathe. Breathing is important. All right, and I want to be comfortable, so we're gonna get this out together and get this workout together because I can't. Mm -mm. Other than the Spanish, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. All right, so let's get into the body. All right, All right. is this good? This is good, y'all. Because I ain't trying to, y'all. My room is a mess. I, I did this just for y'all, it ain't even all the way together. So, this is what it, this is what it looks like. With clothes on, I do not have on any compression. So as you can see, I got a, like a little, a little curvature there. Um, on my left side, this is an area that I kind of wish he would have done life on. But we'll, we'll, when when we have when I have my appointment in February, I will discuss that with him. So this is what I am looking like with clothes on and no compression. I told y'all, y'all look. Boom. I got on still wearing my little granny panties. Yeah, I got to check on my belly button. So, um, this is my belly button. Just a little scar there, but nothing too bad. I do have stretch marks still. I don't care about those, y'all. Like, people that, and like, that, the stretch marks do not bother me. Um, so, yeah, that is my belly button. Here's a side profile. I'll go ahead and show y'all that. 
um, because here you can actually see the area when I'm talking about that it's swollen. Like this area constantly stays swollen. It is like, it's hard as a rock. And I massage it. I don't, I guess it'll just go down over time. Um, so the, my flanks did not get lipoed. And we are going to have that discussion once I, once I have my, um, my appointment, like I said. But I mean... It's an improvement for before, so that's what I'm grateful for. So I'm gonna bring you all a little bit down, further down. So this is my scar. As you can see, just a tiny little keloid starting to form. Does not bother me at all. Um, using my silicone tape and um, doing with my, and then we'll talk about injections in February. I do have like a little dog ear here. And then I have a small one, another small one on this side. Um, I do know that it takes about a year for your scar to lighten up. So I'm just giving it time. It's only been five weeks. So trust in the process. Even like my size have gone down a lot. So that's why I was like, we'll see what it looks like in February. Trust in the process. So I'm going to pull my granny panties up, y'all. And I want to get my video. I should have did better before coming up recording this video, but I am recording it. It's tell me as I am. Alrighty, so that's it, you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. The next video, y'all, this ain't got nothing to do with the Tommy Tuck, but if you're interested in, in seeing our journey to home ownership, I'm gonna throw some videos in. Y'all gotta figure out what I'm doing with my life. And I'm getting braces, y'all. When I get them, we'll have that discussion because this is my second time getting them as an adult. And I ain't spending my money after this, not for that. So with that being said, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Maybe I can get the boo on. We'll talk about his views about how I've been healing or how I've been feeling or what he's been saying. Yeah. So leave any questions, comments you may have down in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So you'll know when I finally upload a video, y'all. All right. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Happy New Year. Okay. 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2022, y'all, right around the corner. So have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye.